SHOT SHOW 2017, we're at the Battle Arms Development booth. I'm here with Eli. How you doing, man? All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, like I said, 2016, 2017 SHOT SHOW, and uh, it's just been a blast. We're uh, wrapping up kind of the last day. We've been standing room only, most of the booth, and uh, it's a good chance to take a breathe and get a chance to do some video work. So if you're not familiar with Battle Arms, uh, let me kind of give you a quick rundown. Let me grab the lower here, grab your nice little rifle. This is one of our uh, little SBRs that we built up. We do uh, custom in-house air coating as well. So anything from parts to pieces, uh, whether you're plinking on the weekends or actually law enforcement military, we've got something to help you out and got you covered. So this is our uh, little ultra compact stock system here. We've got our uh, 10 and a half inch barrel. It's a nice little SBR platform. So anything you happen to need from the long to the short, we've uh, pretty much got something there for you to cover. How many of these so, parts are yours? We've Everything? got covered. I'm missing the charging handle. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much what we got. Excellent. This is actually a little bit of an older Fortis rail, I believe. But uh, we're actually launching all rails here at the show. I'll have to run over there and grab one. I don't have one yeah. close. But right. uh, like I said, we're uh, yeah, pretty much everything covered. So, our standard little PDW stock systems. Right, it's your release button here on the bottom. Uh, and of course, on the video, I miss it. But uh, once you get good at it, you're not the office engineer. Rock it on out. We've got, uh, you see the notches for four position adjustable. It's got uh, every position there for if you're a different length of pull, depending on how long your arms might happen to be. Mm -hmm. Slide it out, everything's long enough. S7 tool steel guide rods, internal guide bushings. It gives you a nice solid piece. Full continuous cheek rest all the way across. So when you pull it up, you're never gonna have that hole you're dropping into. Everything there is always nice and continuous there. So everything there, nice and solid. We have this system in two different versions. If you'll notice, there's uh, there's no seam line here at your normal, uh, where your normal buffer tube would bolt in. We have the uh, the version where it's all monolithic. It's what we call that lower. It's one integral piece of 7075, all CNC cut to be uh, a nice little one-piece unit. So that stock system is built in to That's a one-piece cool. lower. Nice. We also sell it, just the same version, in our uh, our nice little kit form as well. So that'll be a bolt-on. It's uh, an upgrade for any standard platform already out there. Any mill spec platform, bolt it right on and go. We also have it for uh, any kind. If you're doing a new build, you can also run that route as well. Now let me ask you this. I know folks out there can Google all the prices and stuff, but you know, oh, you yeah. know any of them offhand? Uh, off uh, like I said, everything there we've got online, our uh, vert buffer system, it actually comes with our uh, proprietary buffer system. That's what allows us to get that short. So we can run any standard mil spec carrier here. We do all the magic with our little uh, proprietary buffer. It's a two-stage design. Uh, it comes with the kit, whether you're buying it just as a lower or as a both on kit here. Excuse me. Either way, everything you need comes in the box, including the wrench to put it on and the VC3 to lock down the threads. Everything is in the box. It's all a nice little kit. Uh, I think retail is about 425 so it's a, a nice solid little system uh, QD points already come built in so if you notice on the bottom side here on the bottom we've got a QD point for your sling for a double point if you're a single point guy it's kind of hard to see there we've got a single point QD mount right there on the bottom uh, okay I see it so no matter what you're gonna do we've got a, a, a nice solid little option there and we try to think as far as battle arms always working down through we've got tons of different people out there in the world that use our products like I said whether you're somebody out playing like the weekend on like I do or using this for a tool as a daily thing so anyway we've got something for you there now right. we, there's one thing that I was pretty impressed with when I first walked out and that was the uh, uh, this, uh, uh, flip it over for me all right this piece right there. tell all me right. about that we we'll slide little stock rods out of the way so rock it on back just like normal if you don't miss this time uh, battle arms we kind of do all kinds of little subtle developments there so if you notice we've got our uh, kind of starting off out of order here I apologize Vince. Okay. we've got our uh, 50 short throw 50 degree safety if you notice here we've got our uh, little standard short lever here we've got nine different styles you can set the short lever up either side we do a lot of work with our ambidextrous shooters and uh, kind of coming on back around he's talking about our bolt catch here this is our uh, even turn it backwards the right direction there yeah that's our uh, little battle arms enhanced bolt catch I think that's what we call it our uh, EBC enhanced okay. bolt catch if you'll notice there's a 400% larger paddle area down here on the bottom so if you can see that in regards to my finger there it's a 400% larger than a standard little button on a military version yeah so a mil spec button you've got a uh, standard cast part this is actually a uh, CNC cut billet piece it's all stainless it's been heat treated and we've actually coated it afterwards so it's a nice solid little part we've got it internally pocketed on the mill and it's down to the gram exactly the same weight as your mil spec component Whoa. so it's a, an extremely simple drop-in part you're not going to pick up a single gram a gram guys not a single gram heavier and uh, it's a nice little upgrade part. So if you're going to lock one back, easily come across, grab it here, rock it back just like normal, come over the top, smack it, 
very very simple thing to do. We also canned it out about 10 to 15, 10, or excuse me, we canned it out about 15 degrees. So when you come across and grab it, there's a positive feel. You ever had a cold finger in the winter? You're trying to lock one of these down and get it pushed down flush. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to have that problem with this. So it's a nice, clean, simple. Charge it. Yeah. Flip it and go. I absolutely love that piece. So, you know what it goes for? Oh, cool. like I said, I'm yeah. the machinist. I'm a little bit rough on that side. Okay. Uh, I beg you there to run online. I think it's. Uh, I think it's less than like 30 bucks. So okay. Double check, don't hold me too quite on that one, but it's a nice, nice, solid little part. Okay, cool. Uh, everything we do, we kind of take to that same level. Uh, we also do a lot of titanium parts. So if you kind of work your way up there, all the way up into the barrel, you can see the uh, the light ridge profile. That's the uh, the Battle Arms light ridge profile barrel there, a titanium gas block. We have them in a, uh, a black ion PVD coating. We also do them in a raw stainless for you folks that might like the uh, the shiny titanium look. So either way, it's a, a nice, nice upgrade part. Or I just do the general uh, assembly part. For daily use, it's a titanium piece, uh, very, very rugged. We run them all the time on our little Fall Auto SBRs. So it's a nice, handy little thing, ready to rock and roll. All right, kind of working our way back down, uh, back into the titanium world again, our titanium pin sets. Uh, these are also our black coated pins. If you'll notice flipping it over, they're 30 thousandths longer than normal. So we've got an extra 30 thousandths on this side, but they're nice, they're smooth, they're never obtrusive. You're never going to hang it on your clothes, your gear, anything like that. We've got a, uh, a nice little dimple here on the insides, just in case you should ever have to, uh, to push them out. Your tool is whatever you do is never going to slip and scratch your upper. But the whole point about these pin sets, you don't need a tool to trial them out. So start them on the back side, push them flush, push them flush just like that. Flip the gun over. You notice they've already started on both sides. You grab it, slide it out. Trust me, I'm a normal guy. I've got normal hands. I just slid that pin out extremely easily. Go for the rear, do exactly the same thing. We take time to actually knurl the back of the pin here. And if you're going to look on the forward pin as well, we take time to add the extra dimples all the way around the, deck the pin here. It gives you a lot more dexterity and a lot positive grip as far as grabbing these to slide them back out. Very so nice. it's a, a very simple little upgrade. I think the titanium pin sets are about 40 bucks. They come with the detents and the springs to drop them in. So for a new build, it's a no-brainer to drop them in. A very, very subtle little change, but you'll be amazed at how much nicer that makes cleaning your rifle. So I agree, I pop agree. Pop pins out, slide them out, but you can clean the rifle so fast. It's uh, a huge, huge upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, uh, everything we do, we do kind of that part. We take that side on. Our uh, enhanced mag button right here. If you notice, I've got a, a fairly long hand here. I can easily grab a standard mill spec button, but I love these. After the day at the range, you'll never go back and trade them. As soon as I started working here, one of the first things I bought was a batch of these and the bolt catches from my own personal rifles. So I can definitely reach them just like normal, but if you'll notice the actual little hole here, it instantly gives me a positive feel. I know I'm there, I know I'm on center, and I've got a nice large power every time i have never missed one of those ever in my life nice. it's uh something you'll always appreciate and you'll never even think about it everything we do at battle arms we don't do it because we felt like changing something everything we do you hand one of our rifles to a uh to an, an experienced shooter that's uh been running on the cold platform for years you hand him one of our rifles he's going to pick it up instantly everything is still where it's supposed to be everything feels right and after two magazines he knows exactly where everything is and he will never trade back we don't do stuff just because we wanted to we do things for a slight little ergonomic or slight enhancement. Uh, every single part we run, we run at the same kind of level there. I love so, it. So, back onto our little uh, buffer system here. If you'll notice, we. Uh we have a very, very short and compact system. So I've still got the rear pin out. I kind of roll my hand right over top of the buffer tube. Slide the system open. If you'll notice, our uh, right here is our little buffer. That's our little proprietary patented battle arms buffer. And if you'll notice, it protrudes just a little bit farther than normal. What that does is it allows the center pin to meet up and uh, actually protrude and align itself on the carrier. So as soon as I close this down, it'll depress just a smidge. Like you see it come down, it'll pop in, and now that buffer is perfectly lined up in the back of the carrier to keep everything dead, true, and smooth. So you get nice, nice alignment and a very nice cycle every single time. Wow. The dual spring system, uh, you'll feel it when you charge the rifle. When you charge them on back, you feel it coming down to the rear, almost at the bottom, and you feel the last little half an inch, actually where you uh, pick up the dual spring system. Any extra energy when you're, as the rifle cycling, as it comes to the rear, that dual spring system comes back and it bleeds off all that excess energy. 
what it does is it actually gives you a nice, uh, actually a lighter recoiling rifle than standard. So it's a, a nice, nice little part. But uh, all right, kind of enough about this one and some of the old things. Let's uh, drop in a couple new things for the year to cool. the show. All right, so what we finally did, we took our, uh, we've done a lot of work over the years with uh, our lightweight saber tubes and our lightweight stock systems. This is, uh, we've actually got these out there in production. Uh, this is just one of the raw ones I haven't anodized. But uh, if you notice our standard vert stock system here, we took that buffer assembly, the standard one here, we took that standard buffer assembly, and uh, we actually dropped it into a, a pistol tube. So if you'll notice, a standard pistol tube is probably about two uh, two inches or a little more longer than this. We now have a tube that's four and three quarter inches from the back of the receiver to the back of the tube. So starting at the threads here, it's four and three quarter inches long. So if you want to measure that up against one of your standard buffer and pistol tubes, that's how compact the system actually is. Nice. So whether you're going to run a 5.56, 300 blackout, it's a, uh, a nice, nice handy little addition to the product line. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we're good there. Uh, very, very tough parts. We test them very hard about them. <laughs> so, pardon me, Charles, when we're across the floor. Something else we kind of did a little bit new for the year. We're uh, we're unveiling what we call the B300. So let me grab one of these right here. It's kind of loud in stock back up there. All right, this one we actually call for uh, D300. So if you're looking down at the serial number itself, you'll notice it says D300 itself. And uh, working down through, we're kind of doing this as a platform. Uh, we don't normally do full-on build rifles for the public, but uh, our reason for doing this one was actually to kind of educate people. We've been staying in the 556 and 223 wall for years. Uh, we've done a lot, a lot of work in the R&D program over the last six months and the last year and a half even, uh, working out in the newer things. So this one right here we're unveiling is as a 300 blackout. It's a seven and a half inch barrel, 300 blackout. It's got our uh, ultra short PDW stock system on it. Uh, we build these all the time, suppressed and unsuppressed. We just kind of wanted to get it out to the public and show that we're all working in other calibers. We had our uh, nine millimeter rifles uh, for the Colt mags out at range day. Uh, we're, we've got the nine mil with the, uh, oh good grief, the, uh, the Glock style magazines. Uh, we've got those in R&D. We're continually digging forward and moving very, very rapidly in that. Uh, we haven't unreached those quite yet. We've got a lot more testing and we want to do on those before we do so. We want, before we drop anything, it's got to be perfect. So we're very, very happy with the results we've seen. We just got to have more time and more fun days at the range. So, so far, <laughs> everything has been excellent. But uh, I've got to have another couple few weeks of uh, really, really fun days out at the range. We'll get everything tested up and get that out to you guys just as soon as possible. Well, good for you, Eli. So, oh I'm yeah, jealous. I've got a few other people in the in the business. It's uh, whenever it's range day, everybody's hand goes up. It's always a blast. <laughs> uh, testing these rifles is a lot of fun. Uh, they're very, very nice platforms. Like I said again, whether you're playing with them or using them every day, it's a nice platform. Very, very well shooting. And it doesn't matter what you're working with. The 300s have actually kind of been uh, slowly becoming a little bit of a shot favorite just because we can shoot those big heavy bullets. We've got a lot of penetration power. Uh, we do a lot of work, like I said, with law enforcement, military. Uh, we do a lot of the select fire versions. Uh, whatever you might happen to need, give us a yell, we can definitely fix you up. Nice. Well, whether we're talking about complete guns or simply components, uh, or not simply components because they're quite quite different and quite cool, I'm very impressed with Battle Arms development. I, want, I definitely want to pick up a few components of you guys this, this year. And thank you so much, Eli, for taking us through that, uh, that little tour. I hope that was uh, interesting any question you might have. If you got any more, feel free to uh, shoot us an email, contact us at the shop. I'll always be more than happy to help you out in any way we possibly can. So, we appreciate uh, it. Good seeing you. Appreciate the help. All right, we are at SHOT Show 2017 Battle Arms Development.